We're going to be talking about a neat Simplify 3D feature today that is really helpful if you have multiple 3D printers or if you're designing your own printer. For the software to correctly interface with your printer, it has to know a couple of key things. First, it needs to know some details about the hardware you're using, such as the build volume or orientation. Second, it needs to know how to communicate with your printer, which is typically determined by what type of firmware it's running. Let me show you where both of these things can be set up in Simplify 3D. To start, you can set up your machine settings by going to Tools, Options, and then the Machine tab. If you're on a Mac, you would go to Simplify 3D, then Preferences to get to this window. On this tab, you can see there's a few important settings, what type of printer it is, such as Cartesian or Delta, and some basic things like the build volume and other settings that define the orientation and coordinate system that you'll use to build parts on your 3D printer. So that's a quick overview of the machine settings, now let's go look at our firmware settings. We'll go to Tools, Firmware Configuration. This window defines the language that your 3D printer uses to communicate. The most common firmwares are already included. So this is probably not a window you'll need to get into too often. So we'll go ahead and move on for now. What we really want to talk about today is how Simplify 3D automatically manages all these settings for you. So let's do a quick example. There are two printers I'm planning to use today, the FlashForge Creator Pro and the Lulzbot Taz 5. So you can see I already have those two printer profiles loaded. Now for those of you that have used either of these printers before, you may know that they have different hardware specifications, but they also use different firmware. So as I switch between them, different things are going to need to change. I'll choose the FlashForge Creator Pro first. In previous videos, we've talked about how the profiles that you choose automatically adjust the process settings to what's optimized for that printer. But they also change a few other things. To see this, let's click on the G-Code tab. I want to point out two areas here on the right, the machine definition and the firmware configuration. If you've been paying attention, these should look familiar. If these boxes are checked, your machine settings and your firmware configuration will be automatically updated based on the settings you've chosen. So what's really happening here is we've connected our process settings, machine settings, and firmware settings so that they all change together. All of the profiles you use from Simplify 3D already have this built in, making it much easier to switch between printers. You've probably noticed this if you've ever used the Configuration Assistant before. So let's continue with our example. I'll click OK, and you can probably see in the main window here that my machine settings have been updated, but let's verify that. We'll open our machine settings. We can see that the build dimensions are updated and our coordinate system is properly configured. Now let's check the firmware settings. We can tell that it's now using the MakerBot Sailfish firmware. And we can see now that we have an X3G tab, which is what we would expect since these printers use X3G files. So everything looks good. But let's say that later in the day, I want to print on the LulzBot. So now I go back to Edit Process Settings and choose the LulzBot TAS5. And if we look under the G-Code tab, we'll see that this profile also has the machine and firmware overrides enabled. So if I click OK, you'll see that things are updated once again. So we'll do a quick check in the machine settings. Those are all updated. And same goes for our firmware configuration. Looks like everything is working exactly how we want it to. So in most cases, you won't need to mess with any of these settings because, as I mentioned, the default profiles in Simplify 3D have this all taken care of. But some of you may be building a custom machine or using a printer that isn't already in the Simplify 3 database. So in that case, let's talk about how to set this up. So we'll go back to our process settings and let's pretend that I'm designing my own printer. And I know that it's very similar to the Prusa Mendel. So I'll choose that profile and click Save as New, which will create a new profile based on the Prusa Mendel settings. My printer is called the Super Printer 3000. Since I know I'm going to be using this printer along with all my other printers, I want to make sure my machine and firmware settings will be synced properly. So I go to the G Code tab, and I can see that both of these options are already enabled. For any changes you ever need to make to the machine settings, you can change them right here. For instance, my Super Printer 3000 has a wider build platform, 
it's 300 by 300, so I need to update those numbers. Now for the firmware configuration, if the changes you need to make can be done solely by using the settings in this window, then go ahead and make them here. However, it's important to note that the only options available here are the stock firmware profiles already included in Simplify 3D. So, if you need to make more advanced customizations to your firmware settings, there's one other thing you need to do first. So we'll click OK, and you can see that my build platform has changed according to my machine settings. And we'll go to Tools and Firmware Configuration. So now we're going to change a couple things. I'm going to set up some custom macros. And since my printer is kind of big and a little slow to respond, I'm going to go to my communication tab and up my communication timeout to 40 seconds. Now, we have to be careful here. Remember that we've set up our Super Printer 3000 profile to use the stock Marlin firmware. So if I just click Save, that profile will eventually overwrite all the changes I just made. So if I want to ensure that I don't lose these changes, I click Export and save them as a new firmware profile. Now, I just need to integrate these settings into my custom profile by reopening the G-Code tab and selecting my new firmware type. Then I just update my profile and I'm all finished. If you think about it, this is really powerful because if you wanted to, you could just use the same procedure to set up different macros for different printers. So each time you want to use that printer, you could just choose that profile and all those firmware settings would update automatically. Having everything linked makes this very simple. If you're using one of the many printers that Simplify 3D already supports, you probably won't ever need to change these settings. But in the event you want to further customize, now you know how.